Fourier class. This is STA314 revision class. Bio or mathematics or statistics for biologists. I'm going to be taking the topic one after the other and it's going to be a revision class. The first topic is probability distribution. I will be taking probability distribution and now under probability distribution, the first thing we are going to talk about is what is called random variable. When you say random variable, random variable is an experimental variable in which your outcome is going to be what a countable or what you can list out. Like an example, if I toast a die, something will happen. I'm going to I can get one, I can get two, I can get three, I can get four, I can get five, I can get six. That is an example of a random variable. Now Random variable is now divided into two. Random variable is divided into two. We have the first one, which is called discrete. Discrete random variable. We also have continuous random variable. When you say discrete, from the word discrete, the outcome, they are integers. Or they are in now. Discrete random variable is also divided into three. Also three. Then we have what is called Bernoulli distribution. Bernoulli distribution. We have binomial distribution. Also we have Poisson distribution. Those are the three divisions of random variable. While for continuous random variable, we only have what is called normal distribution. Normal distribution. Now, when we talk about random variable, our interest is on the expectation of the random variable. That is what we want to study. We want to study the variance of the random variable and the standard deviation of the what of the random variable. Now we are going to look at the expectation. Now when we talk about expectation, it's not the same mean expectation of random variable, expectation of random variable, and is defined as e x summation x. P of X, which is also the same as saying mu. That is random variable. That is the expectation of the random variable. We also have the variance of random variable, which is defined as stigma square and is defined as summation X minus mu, your mu is the expectation squared probability of x. It's all, it can also be in this form, the stigma square, which is a variance, it can also be summation, s squared probability of x minus mu squared, the expectation squared. This is the variance of a random variable. Why? The next one is what is called standard deviation standard deviation of a random variable. And when you say standard deviation, we know that is what? Is the square root of variance. Is the square root of variance. That is, is equal to the square root of our summation x minus the expectation square probability of x. It can also be in form of this square root of summation S square probability of X minus the expectation square. And those are what we want to study under random variable. And we are going to be taking the distribution one after the other. But before that, let us see how to apply data and use it to find expectation, variance, and standard deviation. Now let me give example. The first example, let's say example, 
example, toasting a dal. Let me take the example. Toast a dye once and given the outcome or the possible outcome, the possible outcome, 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 find the mean, find the mean and standard deviation, standard deviation. Find the mean and what? Standard deviation. Let's look at the solution. Now, if you toast a die, the possibility of our outcome is either one show, two show, three show, four show, five show, six show. That is, I can create, if this is X, for my outcome to be one, I have two. It can also be two. I have three. I have four, I have five, and I also have six. Now, now probability of any of these faces to show, we call this P of X. Then, probability of one showing is just one over six. Probability of two showing is also one over six. Probability of three showing is also one over six. Four, one over six. Five, one over six. And 6 is also 1 over 6. Now, if you look at the formula of expectation, expectation of variable, of random variable is summation, S, P of X. It means I need to get S, P of X. That is, I will create another colon, S times P of X. And to do that, you will see that I'm going to add this to give me 1 over 6, 2 over 6, 3 over 6, 4 over 6, 5 over 6, and what? 6 over 6. Then if I add everything together, I do the summation. If I add everything together, I'm going to have 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. Divided by, that is 21 over 6. This is 21 over 6. It means my expectation of X is... 21 over 6, which is equal to 3.5. 3.5, that is the what? The expectation, the mean that they ask us to find. Now, the next thing, the second one, they ask us to find the standard deviation. And if you look at the formula for standard deviation, we see that it's square root of what? Square root of summation s square, probability of x minus mu square or you can use the first one any of the two you are going to have the answer now let me clean this one let me clean this let me find s square for this i want to find since i need s square s square i want to find this s square this is one square one two square is four three square nine 4 square 16, 5 square 25, and 6 square is 36. Then multiply by P of X. Let's return the P of X that I deleted the other time, which is what? 1 over 6, 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 and 1 over 6. Then the product, S square P of X, will be what? 1 over 6, 4 over 6, 9 over 6, 16 over 6, 25 over 6, and 36 over 6. Then if I add everything together, let me add it together. I have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 will give me 91. You have 91 over 6. Now, what is 91 over 6? 91 over 6 divided by 6 is 15.17. It means I'm going to have the standard deviation equals 15.17 minus my mean, my expectation is 3.5 square. Now, 
minus answer minus 3.5 square everything give me square root of 2.917 and what is that square root of answer my variance I mean my standard deviation is 1.71 and that is how to apply that to the random variable you are fine the mean and the standard deviation. You can also find variance. If they ask to buy, find variance, then you don't need to take the square, the square root. Then we can find variance. We are going to look at a second example on random variable. Again, example two. Let's see the number, the number of a call. Let's say phone call X to arrive at a switchboard switchboard during any one minute period one minute period is a random variable and as the following outcome and as the following the following distribution or outcome let me if anyone and we have x x we have one we have two we have three we have four and the probability of the x this is 0 0.2 0 0.1, 0 0.3, uh, okay, I will put 0 here, 0. Point, sorry, there is an error, let me rewrite this, my x is from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then probability of x, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, you now said find find the mean and the variance the mean and variance now just the same thing the same way as we saw the first question the mean the expectation the formula is what expectation of x is what summation x p of x it means i'm going to create a colon for x if i have x my x is 0 1 2 3 4 and my p of x we have 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.1 then i need to get x times p of x then I have x times p of x. Then this is 0 times this is still 0. 1 times 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.1. This is 0 0.6. This is 0 0.9. And this is 0 0.4. Then if I add everything together, I have 0 0.7. 0 0.7 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.4. Four. At the end of the day, I have 1.4. Is it 1.4? No. I have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.6 plus 0.9 plus 0.4. This will give me 2. Is that not? I think it's 2. Yes, this is true. Then if I apply that, I will see that my expectation of x will just be what? Would be what? 2. That is the expectation of x is 2. Now the second one is they ask us to get the variance of x. And the variance is what? Stigma square equals summation x square p of x. You can use the first one. 
But me, I'm, you, I love this formula. That is why I'm using this. You can use the one that you subtract me from each of x. Now from here, you will see that I need to what? I need to find x squared. Then let me clean all this so that I can find my x squared. S square, I create a column for S square, and what is that? 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, this is 9, and this is 16. Then if I put the probability P of X, I have, what is P of X? 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, and what? 0 0.1. Then I find S square P of X. And what is that? I will multiply. This is 0. This is 0 0.1. 4 times 0 0.3 will give me 1.2. 9 times 0 0.3 will give me 2.7. And this will give me 1.6. Now, let me add them together. I have 0 0.1 plus 1.2 plus 2.7 plus 1.6. At the end of the day, all this give me what? 5.5. Then if I substitute that into the formula, I will see that my sigma square will be 0 uh, 1.5, 5.5 minus my expectation that I calculated before is what? 2. Then 2 square, which is equal to what? 5.5 minus 4. And what is that? 1.5. And that is the variance of the random variable. Please follow the step for the two problems I solved. Then we are going to move to random variable, the distribution of random variables. The, because the, the, the discrete random variable, as I said, the first one, we are going to look at Bernoulli, Bernoulli distribution. Now, when you talk about Bernoulli distribution, we are only talking about the two different events, either failure or pass. It's a game of two chances. It's either the success or failure. It means the number of trial is just one. Then, under this, we are going to look at, the first we are going to look at is what is called PDF, probability density function. PDF for binology is defined as f of x equals summation PDF for PDF for binology is p of x p raised to power x q raised to power one minus x. As I said, the possibility that can take place in Benoni is either 0 or 1. If it is sure that that thing is success, your S is 1. If it is failure, your S is what? Is 0. This is the probability function, density function for Benoni, in which your P is the success, and your Q, which is equal to 1 minus P, is what? The failure. Now, we need to we want to get the expectation of Bernoulli, the variance of Bernoulli, and the standard deviation of Bernoulli. Bernoulli can also be written in form of this, can be expressed as this P. Where this P is what is the success. Then the expectation of Bernoulli distribution is equal to P, is equal to the success. Why the variance of Bernoulli distribution is equal to success times failure? Success times failure is what is the variance of Bernoulli distribution. Why the standard deviation is square root of what? Variance, which is what? Square root of PQ. Those are the interests, or those are the two we want to check under Bernoulli. Just take note, Bernoulli is only between 0 and 1, just a trial. It's either it's fail or it's success. And let's look at application of Bernoulli equation. Now, if I have this, let's say we are given example, we are given this distribution. 
Let's say if x is expressed as the Bernoulli of, let's say, 0 0.5, you now ask you find the mean, find the mean, and standard deviation, standard deviation. Of the random variable. Very easy. What you just need to do is solution. Compare your data given to you with the standard form of Bernoulli. This is 0 0.5. The standard form is what? Bernoulli, what? This is P. Now, you want to find the expectation, and we know that your expectation is equal to P. And if you compare, you see that your P is what? 0.5. Thank you. Now, the second one, we want to find the standard deviation. What is the standard deviation? Standard deviation is the square root of variance, which is what? PQ. We need to get Q. Our Q is what? 1 minus P, which is equal to Q equals 1 minus 0 0.5, which is also what? 0 0.5. Then, I will see that my Q, my standard deviation will now be square root of what? 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. And what is that? It's going to be square root of what? 0 0.25, which is also equal to what? 0 0.5. That is the solution to the question. Very simple. Just understand the concept. That is, Bernoulli is just a game of failure or success. And the probability or uh, the expectation of Bernoulli is equal to success. The standard deviation of Bernoulli is square root of what? success times failure. Now, the next distribution we want to look at is binomial distribution. Binomial distribution can be expressed in this form bi n, p. That is binomial distribution. And the PDF. The probability density function, PDF, for binomial is defined as f of s equals n combination x, p of x, q of n minus x, where, where your x is from 0, 1 to n. Then your p is the success, and your q is what? The failure. And your n is number of trial. The difference between binomial and Bernoulli is that Bernoulli required a multiple trial. Not like, bino uh, not like Bernoulli. Binomial requires a multiple trial. That is why if you see the value of n from 0, 1 to n. But for Bernoulli, it's just 0, 1. Now, the next thing is for us to look at to get the expectation, the variance, and the standard deviation of the what? of the Bernoulli. The expectation of Bernoulli, which is the mean, is also defined as, look at if you compare with Bernoulli, you see that here we have NP. It means the expectation will just be NP. That is the expectation of binomial distribution. Why the variance of binomial distribution is going to be NPQ. Just like binomial Bernoulli, but this will require number of trials. That is why we are adding that multiply with n. Then the standard deviation of it will just be square root of what? M P Q. Those are our interests. Now let's now see how to apply this. Apply to what? To a problem. Let's see the application of this. Now, examples. This will be the fifth example. I don't know. Now, Let's say fifth example or fourth. I don't know. You can check. Now, the first example here that I want to look at is let's say, assume we are given if x is expressed as the Bernoulli of, let's say, 8, 0 0.6. Then find, come on, we go 1. The expectation of the random variable, Roman figure 2, let's say Roman figure 2, the variance of the random variable.
Let's look at this. Number three, you three, we can say the standard deviation. Standard deviation of the what? Standard variable. Now let's look at it. Let's solve it. Solution. Now, our standard binomial representative or binomial representative, sorry, is what? NP. Now, let's compare with what we are given. We are given this to be what? 8, comma what? 0 0.6. Now, from here, our expectation, you will see that from here, our N is equal to 8, and our P is equal to what? 0 0.6. Then, we can easily get Q. Our Q is what? 1 minus P. Which is what? 1 minus 0 0.6, which is what? 0 0.4. Then the first question said the expectation of this expectation. My expectation is what? MP. And what is that? 8 times 0 0.6, which is what? This will give me 4.8. That is the expectation of the variable. Now the next one is variance. Variance of the variable just what? MPQ. And what is that? 8 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4. And what is that? This will give me 4.8 times 0 0.4. I think something like 9.2 or 1.92. We can confirm 1.92, possibly 1.92. Yes, it's 1.92. Which is equal to square root of what? 1.92. Will give me 1.39. That is the standard deviation. Example 6. Look at the question on example 6. We have a coin is loaded in such a way that it's lined with a edge showing 70% of time. That 70% is the success. Is, let's call it P. Since we are dealing with probability. Probability 70% in probability is going to be 0 0.7. Now, if it's toast five times, that is the difference between binomial and Bernoulli. You see now, this one toast five times, that is my n. My n is five. But if it is Bernoulli, there, there is no num the number of occurrence is just one. Now, they now ask us find the probability of getting four edge. Those are the number of trial. Now, before that, we need to get Q. Our Q is 1 minus P, which is what? Is 0 0.3. Then, from the probability density function, PDF of binomial, which is defined as N combination X, P raised to power X, Q, N minus X. Now, our X is the number of trial, or number of our outcome, sorry, our outcome. The first outcome is 4 X. It means my X here is equal to 4. That is the first outcome, we have got 1. Let's now do that. What is the probability of getting 4 X? Then yeah, we have F of X, will just be N, the trial is 5. 5 combination 4, P, which is 0.7, raised to power of 4, 0 0.3, which is our Q, raised to power four, 5 minus 4, which is 1. Then if I press my calculator, 5 combination 4 is 5, times 0 raised to power 7, and 0 raised to power, no, 0 0.7 raised to power 4 is, is, is 0 0.2401 times 0 0.3. At the end of the day, my probability will just be 5 times 0 0.2401 times 0 0.3, which is equal to 0 0.36, 0 0.36. And that is the solution to the what? To the Roman figure 1. That is 4 n For 4 n to occur, this is what you are going to have. Roman figure 1. The Roman figure 2. No edge. No edge means my x is equal to 0. No edge because x is what the number of edge showing. But if there is 
no x means x is what zero. There is the same thing. Let's put that in the formula. We have five combinations zero. 0 0.7 raised to power is 0, 0 0.3 raised to power 5 minus 0, which is 5. Now, 5 combination 0 is 1. Anything combination 0 will give you 1. 0 0.7 raised to power 0 is 1. Then we are going to have the answer is 0 0.3 raised to power of 5. And what is that? 0 0.3 raised to power 5 is going to give us. 0 0.00243 that is the answer to the Roman figure 2 question the Roman, Roman figure 3 is also very straight just like Roman figure 1 the Roman figure 3 you will see that our s here is equal to 3 then if you do that your f of x will just be what 5 combination 3 0 0.7 raised to power 3, 0 0.3 raised to power 2. Then you press your calculator, 5 combination 3 is going to give us 10. Yes, it's going to give us 10, but let me confirm. It's 10, 10, 10 times 0 0.7 raised to power 3. times 0 0.3 raised to power 2. At the end of the day, we have we have 0 0.3087 and that is the answer to the question. Now, now, look at question number 4 and number 5. Please, get the understanding of these two Roman figure very very well. The first one is telling us that what at least three head. At least three head means the least is three. It can be more than three. It can be three, four, and five. It must not go beyond five because the number of trial is what is five. It means I'm going to get for when s is equal to three. When s is equal to four plus when s is equal to four. And when s is equal to what? When s is equal to 5, I will add everything together. Now, that is, when s is equal to 3, that is, our probability will now be, when s is equal to 3, that is, 5 combination 3, 0 0.7 raised to power 3, 0 0.3 raised to power 2, plus, when s is 4, 5 combination 4, 0 0.7 raised to power 4, 0 0.3 raised to power 1 plus when s is 5, 5 combination 5, 0 0.7 raised to power 5, 0 0.3 raised to power 0. Then if you press your, our calculator, we have calculated 0 0.3. Then we have calculated when s is 3, which is what? 0 0.3087 plus when s is 4. I think we've done this. We've done when s is 4 and I've cleaned it up. Don't worry. When s is 4, let's do it. This is 5. 5 times 0 0.7 raised to power 4 times 0 0.3. Okay, this is 0 0.360 plus this. When s is 5, 5 combination of 5 is 1. 0 0.5 raised to power 7, raised to power 5. 0 0.7 raised to the power 5 will give me 0 0.168. Now, if you add everything together, I'm going to have plus 0 0.3087 plus 0 0.360. At the end of the day, I have 0 0.837. 0 0.837. That is that. For this, we might go for at least. Why at most? I'm not going to solve the at most. But I will just tell you what you will do. It's also very easy. When you say at most, it is the highest you can get is 4. But you can get below 4. That is, you are going to start from when s is 0. That is, no edge. Plus, when s is 1. Plus, when s is 2. Plus, when s is 3. Plus, when s is equal to 4. 
then you add it together just the same way we do I did number four just try it and you get the answer for that example seven example seven we want to look at an example that involves using statistical table look at this question suppose that 40 percent of nigerians own have a microwave oven let s equal the numbers of nigeria home in a random same a random sample of n equals to 20 that is number of homes there are 20 homes that have microwave we now want to find the probability of now the first thing let's look at solution to get those data given to us the first thing there is suppose that 40 percent that is the word the number of sources might be and this might be is 40 percent 40 percent is the same as what 0 0.4 then the number of nigerians they are 20 oh n is 12, 20. then they ask us to find what the probability that at most 11 oh let me just tell you the danger of this one you know we can get our q our q will just be 1 minus 0.4 which is 0.6 now we want to find at least 11 from what the uh, example since we did, we are going to find 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, to 20. Then it means you will be wasting your time. Because you will find for when s is equal to 11, when s is plus, when s is equal to 12, when s is equal to 12, to 20. Look at the number of hours you are going to spend to do that. But with your statistical table, then you can solve this problem. Because there is a table called cumulative probability distribution for each of these discrete random variables. Now, let's, and I'm going to use the table to solve this question now. This is Roman figure 1. Roman figure 1 says S is at most 11. And if you want to interpret, well, this is what it means. It means S is less than or equals to 11 for at most. You know, at most means it can never go above what? 11. Sorry. It can never, at most, is from 0 to 11. And this is what it means if you interpret it. At most, S is less than or equals to 11. Now, in my statistical table or under binomial distribution, I can check this value given the number and the, the number N and the what and the sources. Now, you check in your statistical table, if I check in my statistical table, this is my own statistical table, you are expected as a student of, of this course to have statistical table. If you don't have, you need to get one. It is very, very important. Now, how do you open it? You open it to page table one. Yes, table one. Because table one, that is also page one. You will see it there. So cumulative binomial distribution. Cumulative binomial distribution is there. That is table one. And if you look at the table, the first column you see n. When you see n, you also see p, and you also going to see your c. Your c is standing for the what? For s value. That is your c. Now, if I want to check, you will see your c. You see c is there. Then you see the probability horizontal, horizontal. Your horizontal values are the probability, the sources. Horizontal value are the sources. Then your C are the vertical value, they are the values of X. Yeah, and your N, you also see N there. Now let's check now. I want to check my P. My P is 0.4, but my N is 20. I'm going to look for N20. If you look at the first page. There is no n20. It ends at n equals to 7. If you look at the second page, it ends at n equals to 11. It's not 20. Then I open the third stage, uh, this. You will not see n equals to 20 here. Then here, there is no n equals to 20 again. Let me continue open. Now you will see, at this area, this is where we have n equals to 20. n equals to 20. Then after that n equals to 20, I need to get my s. s is less than or equals to 11. And that s is the same as c. I will now trace it to 11. Look at 11 here. 
Then, which probability do I want to check? 0 0.4. Look at up here. You see 0 0.4. You now trace it down. It's 0 0.4 under 11 is what? 0 0.943. Can you see it? It's 0 0.943. It means the answer here is just what? 0 0.943. When you solve it, normal way of solving. That is, you find for 0, for 1 to 11, you add it together. This is what you are going to get. That is for when it is what? At most. At most. Now, for the second one, at least seven. At least. At least means S is greater than or equals to seven. That is what it means. But you cannot get greater than or equals to because probability cumulative is start from zero to where you are going. You cannot get greater than because greater than means more than is going far. But this can also be expressed as one minus. The cumulative of the which is what probability of what x less than or equals to what seven. That is, you know, I can find the probability of what x less than or equals to seven from the table. Then I subtract it from one. Then I will get my answer. Now let's see. Still under the table, under same twenty. Then I will go to seven now. Instead of the first one, I check a level. Then seven now. I'm going to have seven under four. If you trace it, you see that you have what? 0 0.416. Now, we are going to have this to be 1 minus 0 0.416. And if you do that, you are going to have something like 0 0.5584. That is for the second one. Do you understand it? Just very easy. If you understand this table, you know how to use the table very well, then you will not even waste your time at all in the exam. Because it's very, very easy. Now, the Roman figure 3, if you look at Roman figure 3 now, that Roman figure 3, S is equals to 8. S is equals to 8. That one, you can use the formula. Before, it is an exact value. You can use the formula. Don't use the table. You can use the formula. What is its formula? F of S equals what? The total number of N, so you know from the formula, F combination X, P of X, Q of what? N minus X. Then if I use the formula, I have what? 8 and 20 combination 8. P of X is what? Zero, uh, P is 0.4 raised to power 8. Q is what? 0.6 what? raised to power what? Raised to power 20 minus 8, which is 14. With your calculator, you get this one direct. Now, 20 minus 8 is 12, not 14, sorry. 20 minus 8 is 12. Then, if you press your calculator, you can easily get this. 20 combination, 20, uh, no, 20 combination 8. We can have it in our calculator. 20 combination 8 will give me what? 20 combination 8, shift. 20, sorry. I'm trying to help you out with the... Answer 20 combination 8. That is zero is ah is large o times 0 0.4 raised to power 8 times this is this times 0 0.6 raised to power 12. At the end of the day, this will give us 0 0.1797. That is for that. It's very easy. You can do this with your calculator. You can also use statistical table, but it's better you use calculator if it is an exact value. Just use the formula. Now, the next one, the next question, they ask us to find the what? The mean, the, the mean and the variance. The mean and the variance, we've done that before. The mean and the variance, we just do what? The mean is our expectation, which is what? MP. And from the question, our N is, is 20 times our P, 0.4. And what is that? The expectation is 8. Why the variance? Variance is what? N, P, Q. And what is that? 20 times 0.4 times 0.6. And what is that? This will give me what? 2.4. That is 8 times 0.6. This is 2.4. 
That is that. Why the last one? Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation, which is denoted as CV, is defined as standard deviation. Deviation divided by mean. Divided by mean. And we can get standard deviation from here. Standard deviation is the square root of variance, which is what? Square root of 4.4. And what is that? Square root of 4.4, 2.4, sorry. Square root of 2.4 will give me 1.549. And our expectation is 8. It means C view does be what? 1.549 divided by 8. And this is going to be divided by 8. 0. 1936. But CV, coefficient of variation is, is expressed in percentage. It means by CV will just be what? 19.36%. And that is how to apply your table. This example is just to teach you how to use the statistical table to solve your probability distribution. And we are going to continue in our next class yes and the next class we are going to look at the third of the probability distribution which is the Poisson and after that we are going to look at how to convert your binomial distribution to Poisson or to Poisson to binomial distribution go through this video watch the class listen understand the concept then you'll be able to apply the concept to your examination please as you are watching this video, help, up, help me to click on the subscribe button. Please, it's very, very important. And make your comment on the comment tab, please. If you have any error or anything you want to comment, comment on that video. Please, help me to subscribe. It's very, very important. See you in my next video. Time.